Hey, I know you don't smoke weed. I know this. But I'm going to get you high today. I just really want to learn and just to stop cheating. You know, when, when we talk about people being addicted to something, what we want to do is we want to look at the influence it has on their... We've done enough damage, Daryl. Can keep hurting people. Knowing the one and true God, being born again. She best got me, man. I don't got no control over it, man. I try to kick, man. This be calling me, man. Be calling me. Being delivered from sin and the penalty of power of sin and having eternal life and worshiping God. Now that is success. <laughs>
you think that's your strength? That you think that's you resisting that sin? And, and it's Christ resisting sin. It's Christ resisting sin. It ain't got no, ain't nothing good in your flesh. Ain't nothing good about your flesh. Your flesh is going to fulfill its desires. But once the spirit of Christ get inside of you, Christ is going to stand against sin. Romans 12 and 2 says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Here for you that the will of God is that all men put off the old man and put on the new man which is created in righteousness and true holiness that new man is the Holy Spirit Not receive the Holy Spirit. Hey, I know you don't smoke weed. I know this, but I'm gonna get you high today. For sin separates us from the Father. John 14 and 17 says, Even the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be with you. For even Christ said, without me, you can't do nothing. You got to remain in him as he remained in you. God will not allow your foot to slip. Your protector will not slumber. A lot of people shine light on the struggle to make a living, but rarely do they discuss the struggle to die. Die to the flesh. Die to your wicked ways. Die to the sin that so easily besets you on this journey. Stop looking at the size of the mountain and just have faith that it can be removed. If you don't believe that you can be made new, then you are denying the power of God. And for those who do have a relationship with God, don't get high-minded. Because in times past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. So let's have compassion for those around us who have yet to get it together, knowing that we need each other on this journey. Two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. If they fall, one will lift up his companion, but woe to him who is alone when he falls, but he has no one to help him up. Real friends tell you the truth like sin is a drug and it's the root of all problems for man if you haven't died to the world yet then you must be still of it i decided that no one would ever hurt me again in verse 19 paul says now the deeds of the flesh are evident which are immorality impurity sensuality idolatry sorcery enmities, strife, jealousy, outbursts of anger, disputes, dissensions, factions, envying, drunkenness, carousing, and such things like these. I forewarn you, just as I have forewarned you, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. If you are here, it is because you have a fervent, unequivocal belief in teamwork. Why was he late? Guess he always slept. Well, why didn't you wake him? I'm not his mother, sir. I asked Mr. Miles why his roommate was late. He says he guesses he overslept. I asked why didn't you wake him? And he says he is not his mother. Now that is success. Matthew chapter 26 verse 41. Keep watching and praying that you may not enter into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Proverbs chapter 16 verse 25 There is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof 
are the ways of death. Romans chapter 8 verse 6 For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. When the Holy Spirit comes into us, we are put on autopilot. It takes God to get to God, as my brother says. It's not our works that please the Father, but it's the working of the Holy Spirit inside of us, um, which is the Lord working in us, perfecting us each and every day, leading us to Him um, that is pleasing unto Him. As Philippians 3 and 14 says, we should be pressing toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. That's not returning to our bondage. Uh, once we are made free, we must live in spirit and in truth, which also ties in with John 4, 24. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So it's safe to say that if you do not have the spirit of Christ, that you cannot, who was, who was God in the flesh, that you cannot truly worship the Father. A man does not choose his companions. These two, they have no courtesy. A man must ask forgiveness. For to come unto the Father, you must come unto the Son. Matthew 5 and 48 says, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So we understand that no man in the flesh is perfect, except for Jesus Christ who was God in the flesh. Do you see it now? Or should we finish this on the board? Hey. I know you enjoy weed. I know this. But I'm gonna get you high today. You know, when when we talk about people being addicted to something, what we want to do is we want to look at the influence it has on them. Knowing the one and true God, being born again. Shit, man, it's got me, man. I don't got no control over it, man. I try to kick it. This be calling me, man. They calling me. Being delivered from sin and the